here's the story. Hi, I'm Abram, and this is my beautiful wife, Sarai. Hello! We have a great life in this town, with a nice house and lots of stuff and friends and family. Yeah, but we're still kind of sad because we've never had children. Yeah. One day, God came. Abram, yes? I want you to leave everything behind and go to a place I'm going to tell you. You are going to be the father of a great big nation. And the whole world will be blessed through you. Through me? What? Okay, let's do it. Come on, Sarai. Let's go. And so they gathered up their servants and their animals and some of their stuff, and they said goodbye to their home. And now they were travelers who lived in tents. They didn't know where they were going, but they knew what God had said. And everywhere they went, they said, is this it, God? And God said, keep traveling. And one day they set up camp in a place called Canaan. And God said, look around, Abram. This is the land I'm going to give to your children. But they still didn't have any children and they didn't own any of this land. They ended up going to Egypt for a while. They traveled all over the place. They got into some fights with some kings. They got into trouble and told lies. And sometimes they trusted God and sometimes they stopped trusting God and sinned. But God was faithful to them. And he kept coming back to them and encouraging them, telling them things like, you're going to have more kids than the stars in the sky. And Abram, your name is now Abraham. Sarah, your name is Sarah, because you will be the parents of a great nation. After 25 years, Sarah had a baby boy named Isaac. His name meant laughter, because she was 90 years old and Jesus came through their family. So we all were blessed through them. Just like God said, today we are learning that we can trust in God because he always keeps his promises.